probably includes both the um, grout and the bottom steel plate. I'm almost positive it does because I think the grout was one inch. And we'll just kind of go through these planes because they, they just give me different ways to trim, do surface trims or trim to surface or whatever. And so I start trimming. These are just trimming operations to trim this thing out. Um, and I pop my first set of holes in right there. And in this case, they just correspond to the holes on the stair tread. And then I patterned them. And what I did there is, if you go look at my original sketch, I have a driven number right here that is from tread to tread, right, over and up, and then it's my hypotenuse. I use that and one of these lines as a way to get a pattern. So I patterned based on that number and one of these lines, that line right there probably or edge I should say and then some more trimming and that trims up the nose and then I believe that I started let's see what's this um, not sure why I didn't use structural members I may not have had the right size set up or uh, it may have been a pain in the ass to get the right length I should have because it would have been it would have been easier to get cut list information uh, so I would encourage you, if you're going to do this again, to actually use structural members. Uh, anyways, these are just um, caps to cap out the um, channel. And then I've got my oval cut in the bottom. Again, older version of SolidWorks. They didn't have uh, the oval hole wizard. Uh, and then we've got grout. This is a grout that they have to put underneath the stairs after they get it installed. They use a nut inside of here as a jack, as a jack nut so that they can adjust the stairs out, make sure they're level and square. And then once they do that, they actually pack grout in there. And um, so that's the one inch grout line. And let's see, what did I do next? Um, this is a little top cap piece that goes on the top to cover that little cut there because this is a quarter inch down this face is from the top of the landing so that it can be capped properly. Uh, let's see. And then there's the back and I believe it gets some holes or slots as well. And let's see, there's one hole. Is it just one hole? Yep. Where's that one? Oh, and I also punched a hole in the grout. And then I mirrored it across the center line of the actual stairs. I dropped in uh, my new coordinate system so that um, so that I actually have I can pull dimensions off of that coordinate system and get accurate um, ordinate dimensioning. And that ended up being in, it ended up being more handy in AutoCAD because this got all this information got exported to AutoCAD. They were not willing to let this job be done in SolidWorks. So that's important for you guys out there that are going to do these in SolidWorks. The got the person you're working with doesn't work with SolidWorks most of the time. They're going to work in Telka or you know some sort of AutoCAD type program, and so. You're probably going to be exporting out views. It actually worked really well for me because I got real accurate views. And you'll find that a lot of these guys have details that don't represent what's actually being built. They're, they're what would be called a typical detail. So for me, that's frustrating. I'd much rather have an actual accurate diagram of what's going on. But uh, it's just kind of some slop in the industry there. And so you'll, you'll maybe find that out as well so the, these are the rails and um, they're all done so uh, we drop back to the main assembly and the local pattern for the stair tread was based on the same thing if I open it up the local pattern was based on this driven dimension that was in that um, master sketch 
and this edge and so it's able to copy it up at the appropriate angle and the appropriate distance and uh, so there's your stair tread uh, what I ended up doing was I ended up creating um, off of the parent drawing I ended up creating these um, landings and they're they're based off the drawing they're actually part of the drawing um, anyways so all that to be said you can do the steel stuff's pretty easy once you get a system set up I have a number of stairs that went around corners and they, the heights were adjustable and you can just plug numbers in and really if you got this if you did a set and got it in Excel um, after that you'd be able to crank them out pretty easily and you could actually make a decent amount of money on these things now I did have to bring these into AutoCAD and I did de do a whole bunch of detailing there after a while I was able to get a format in SolidWorks that brought in quite a bit of the verbal information as well but I still had to convert it over to the right layer and the right um, um, uh, textiles and those sorts of things in AutoCAD and so this isn't necessarily my favorite work I'd, I'd rather hand that detail stuff off to uh, you know a lower if you're in a big corporation a lower CAD guy and just do the the 3d stuff but anyways I hope this helps someone out I hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks a lot